tomorrow will mark 30 years since the Hawkeye State came to a collective stop. In 1993, Iowa basketball player Chris Street died when his car hit a snowplow in Iowa City, just short of his 21st birthday. Memories and connections all fade over time. It's just part of life. But the family, the fans, and everyone who called Chris a friend have prevented that from happening. Iowa's News Now anchor Mitch Fick now with a look back and the lasting legacy of Chris Street that has endured now for a generation. I can't believe it's been 30 years. I remember it like it was yesterday. Here's Street, big shot, big shot. Big shot by Chris Street. That may be Chris Street's biggest shot as an Iowa Hawkeye. 30 years later, everyone remembers the scene, the shock, the sorrow. Dear Christopher, number 40, I'm writing you my last goodbye for a while. I'll see you someday when I meet you in heaven. But even the current Iowa basketball roster, all born years after Chris Street was killed, know the story and what his name means. So it, it was definitely one of the first things I heard about, to be honest, probably the most important thing in the history of Iowa basketball. Street's number 40 is retired by the Hawkeyes. His jersey is on display in Carver Hawkeye Arena, and his name is arguably on the most prestigious award the program gives out. I think most of us who played would say that's that's the most impactful award we've ever received. Jess Settles was the second ever winner of the Chris Street Award, given to the Hawkeye or Hawkeyes that best represent Street's spirit, enthusiasm, and intensity. Settles says Street is the reason he went to Iowa. There's always a little confusion when you're being recruited, right? Do they really want me? Uh, would I fit in here? Is this substitution thing going to work for me? All those things. And uh, Chris just shot down every doubt that I had. Um, made it very clear to me and you know I, I went back and, and committed because of him oh. with the steal. Look at it. Beauty and it will count that he is fouled. Out of all the awards and trophies I think I've ever won, this that's it has to be, you know, right at the top. Hawkeye super senior Connor McCaffrey shared the Chris Street Award last year with Keegan Murray, the twin brother of current Hawkeye star Chris Murray. Yes, he's named after Street. He's a great player and a person my dad looked up my dad looked up to so I think it's really important to me and my family. He was my best friend, you know what I mean, and I know he was a best friend to a lot of people. Before he was a Hawkeye dad, Kenyon Murray was a freshman phenom for Iowa, hosted by Chris Street on his recruiting visit. A big reason was just kind of his personality and how I how he gravitated to me, I gravitated to him. I was always with him. He was kind of that that the player that took me under his wing and so we got really close really fast. Murray knew right away he'd honor his friend one day. So um, when I met my wife, I told her right away, like, hey, when we have a boy, you know, this is really early on. I was like, hey, my first son's name is going to be Chris. Marie even got permission from Mike and Patty Street to name his Chris K-R-I-S. I was like, hey, is it, I want to name our firstborn after Chris. I want to change, you know, change the spelling of it a little bit. And Mike and Patty's like, hey, it doesn't matter how it's spelled, you know, it's just the tribute to, to him. And, and I think, you know, he'll, he'll love it either way. Chris! A tribute born from love, honoring an all-time Hawkeye gone too soon. Yeah, I just think uh, his legacy's lived on um, ever since 30 years ago. And I think our program really signifies that by having uh, that poem on uh, by our locker room door. So we see it every, every single time we come to come into the locker room. That just shows that this program truly cares about everyone who uh, came through it, whether coaches were here or not, players were here or not, but it's just a big family. Mitch Fick, Iowa's News Now. Now tonight's game against Northwestern was supposed to be the Chris Street Remembrance game, but the game was postponed due to COVID-19 issues within the Wildcat program. Coincidentally, 30 years ago this week, Iowa's game against Northwestern had to be pushed back after Chris Street's death. No word yet on when that game will be played. Following Chris Street's death, it wasn't until the end of January in 1993 until the Hawks returned to Carver Hawkeye Arena in one of the most memorable games in the history of the venue. Fifth-ranked Michigan and the Fab Five came to Iowa City. Kenyon Murray was still a freshman, but remembers it to be one of the loudest games he ever played in the black and gold. And then the Michigan game here at home was, I think that was the most incredible game I've ever played at in Carver. I don't think Carver's ever been that loud for that long. People didn't sit. And to do it with Mike and Patty and the girls on the sideline, that, that meant so much um, to us to be able to do that for them. Chris Street magic, you know, that, that, that day too. So. Um, so yeah, hard to, hard to forget that one. I'll remember watching it. The Hawkeyes won that game 88-80. to For more memories like that and Chris Street stories from Kenyon Murray and Jess Settles, we have their full interviews with us under this story at iowasnewsnow.com.